all right welcome back to my channel so I was wrong for yesterday's <coughs> price action anticipation right but it's okay because it's CPI I didn't expect accurate high accuracy anyways so let's focus on what's coming up next so today we have another rate folder news at 8 30 I think it's the PPI and price has closed above the consequent encroachment of that previous daily week which is the Monday's daily week right here so I'm expecting price to reach up into this daily CB right if you use the FIBS swing high to swing low it's above 50% and if you use this swing high as well it's also above 50% so this area it would be a premium with regard to this price range this dealing range right here okay so from premium I'm expecting price to sell off to take out the lows here right we left this lows intact so I believe that price is gonna reach out into this sell side liquidity by the end of this week okay um, that's my weekly objective but for tomorrow right um, tomorrow meaning 15 Wednesday um, Wednesday trading session I'm looking for price to reach into this area and to which level right so let's break it down on the four hours all right we have a four hour BC right here that is not tapped into and it's slightly above the consequent encroachment of that daily CB right here okay we have that four hour CB heading down into the one hour chart we have that one hour CB just right here I think it's not tapped into yet let me just take a look at it high is 39.775 okay so this has been tapped into maybe which is why I have this um, one hour CB right here so this area would be the last line of defense right if price was to continue the bearish um, bearish um, momentum downwards okay that's what I'm looking for price to reach into on Wednesday New York Wednesday okay um, on the hourly chart right as long as London can make a Judas swing above this highs here okay and then market structure shifts lower I'm gonna use that as a sell so my targets would be obviously this sell side here but I do not have to um, target for that I can use this um, new week opening gap so new week opening gap is right around here which is the one hour CB so there is a chance that it's gonna reach up into this area before that sell off right new week opening gap to new week opening gap okay so we're right now at somewhat of a event or event horizon between the two weekend opening gaps all right so I'll have um, just take note of that right um, event horizon meaning 50% um, between these two levels <clears throat> okay I think if price can trade above this then it's very highly likely that it's gonna trade back up into this area here but we shall see that area it's um, I I would want this area to act as a sensitive price um, to act as an area whereby price gets really sensitive okay <laughs> just rephrasing my words okay um, but yeah I'm looking at this area right here okay at any point of time price comes into this area and sells off um, which means shifts um, shifts in market structure on a minimum 15 minutes okay 15 minutes then I'll look for an entry it's pretty simple 
so I'm looking at this as a Wednesday um, high of the week so reach up into this area sells off continue on Thursday sells off and eventually on Friday we hit this okay so this is the market profile I'm, an, and I'm anticipating right so yeah this is my price anticipation um for the upside I would like to use this fair value gap highlighted in blue right we have a one hour CB which is within a balance price I mean yeah a balance price range right here potentially a balance price range right so the state of delivery changes when the price closed above this CB right here so if there is longs presented when price tags into this area I will take along as well if these levels have not been um, tapped yet all right either we see a high of Wednesday and Thursday I mean on um, Wednesday and then it reverses or we can see a Thursday reversal right consolidation Thursday reversal so these two scenarios are very likely gonna happen if price is gonna maintain the bearish bearish stance okay so I'll be just looking at this um, levels so since Monday we had not had the price tagged into one of the extremes that I was looking at so right now I'm just waiting to see um, how the price prints I mean how the candles are gonna print for the next few days heading into the end of this week right and I think next week we have a huge pretty huge announcement um, it's the federal interest um, rates decision I think it's on Wednesday 22nd so that day would be a very nice day as well to observe the price okay um, let's take a look at the weekly chart to see if there's anything that we can um, we can reference let's remove this Okay, so as you can see, the daily levels are all, I mean the premium levels are all within this um, bearish order block right here. And right at the top end of this CB, we have this opening, I mean, yeah, this open of the bearish order block. So I really like that as a um, level, okay, weeks and months, right. So on the weekly we have this sell side and beneath this sell side we have another one right here and then there is this volume imbalance so I think I'll highlight that as well I'll use grey for this right is it lagging? it feels like it's lagging Okay, anyways, I'll take note of this volume imbalance as well. Okay, and this BC right here. Hmm. I think it's a. Uh, I think this is somewhat of not an accurate representation. Let's take a look at the continuous chart. Yeah, because right here we don't really have a. PC, we only have that. Hmm. What level is this? 3709. 370. Oh, okay, that's quite far away from it. Or right, then maybe I won't use this. And I'll see how it goes. I'm not sure about that contract rollover and how it's going to reference price based on this contract itself. So I'm not going to draw too much lines I'm just gonna leave it here and maybe I'll add this line right here okay and uh, 
I'll add another min threshold 4025.5 yep oh, 0.25 I'm sorry 25 right, so this will be the mean threshold of all the block mm, top right and that would be the opening okay so these two levels I'm interested in and I'll be looking at it we have one volume imbalance right here so since price close below I'm expecting this to be a resistance so I'm gonna use this as well right <clears throat> and I think there you have it these are the levels for the weekly okay uh, visibility right there we go three levels all pretty near to each other right um let's take a look at the min threshold 40 25 40.25.25 it's right at this or the block so yeah let's see let's see if price can react within this area here all right what would invalidate the bearish idea of getting to this sell side is if price can trade above and close above this daily CB and even better if it can take out this swing high here then I think it's a very it's a low probability that price is gonna continue the downtrend okay because uh, right now we are heading into the second week of March and heading into April so usually based on seasonal tendencies a top may form in april and usually when that forms um a smt will present itself so i'm not sure if it's gonna take out this high or this high here i mean with regards to that um idea right i'm not sure if, if it's gonna do that so i'm just waiting to see how the price reacts in this area and then I'll um, I'll play it accordingly right so I think that's it for <clears throat> this video right here for ES right let's take a look at dollar dollar so far we have tapped into that weekly balance price range so right here I've highlighted a breaker so I think price would like to retrace into this level here if even if it wants to further i mean like further break down okay accelerate downwards i think this would be a entry for shorts right and then continue rolling lower right um the mean threshold is right here i mean the mean 50 percent right premium discount so price may want to use this cb I'm not too sure for the dollar right what it's gonna do but I'm taking note of this weekly balance price range highlighted in blue okay if we can continue to I mean like um, trade lower then I think this sell stops are next and once it's taken out the I think the next area would be the opening of this order block right here or maybe even this breaker okay so let's just see what happens right and that's for DXY anything else to highlight mm, right I think I think that's about it for equities and DXY um, yeah so let's just talk a little bit about now I think I'll put this in another video
so because this is just a price anticipation for um, ES okay so if DXY can rally up to here I think EX, um, ES has more room I mean we'll have room to drop lower that's what I'm anticipating and I think this is it